You can now earn 30% more money with your apps by bypassing the Apple fee on digital goods in the US. A US court has recently ruled that Apple has to allow external payment links for iOS apps, which is honestly incredible news for indie developers. And within hours after the news broke, many companies posted new ways to capture these payments. Expo and Evan Bacon posted a template with Stripe integration. Even Vercel posted iOS web starter template to collect payments on the web. But especially Especially RevenueCut was well prepared, dropping a new solution for web payment that you can combine with the current in-app purchases of your app. They released a new web paywall button that you can integrate into your existing paywall. And this button takes the user to a web hosted checkout where they can complete their checkout using the web billing SDK. We don't know yet if this is actually a better way and converts better than the previous way, but since you're essentially leaving Apple territory when dropping into a web solution, you have new ways of of talking to your users, showing promotions, and in general just representing the purchases in an entirely different way how you want it. Because we don't know exactly how well it performs, I would recommend you test this out with an experiment in Revenue Kit. First, you're gonna keep your existing paywall in the native flow, but second, you also add a paywall button and just check which of those two solutions performs better. You can then figure out a winner and simply double down on the way that works best. Oh, and don't forget to set up some targeting so you only display this new way to customers based in the United States, which is pretty easy to do with RevenueCat targeting as well. If you want to get started, use the link to RevenueCat under this video or in my profile, which helps me to create more videos like this.